Elima, Lane McFarlane versus Paige Van Zandt. Elima Lane McFarlane is the current Bellator flyweight champion of the world on her first reign. She's won 10 fights in a row in Bellator. She has six submissions. That's the most in Bellator history. Alima Lay McFarlane has been champion since 2017, since beating Emily Ducote the second time, and she's defended her title four times. She's incredibly dominant. She's amazing on the ground. She's looking to fight anybody who comes into her path. And recently, Paige Van Zandt's been making noise. Oh, she's leaving the Ultimate Fighting Championship. And Alima Lay McFarlane mentioned her in interviews. She said she'd be interested in, in this fight. Maybe Paige needs to fight a fight in Bellator, but Paige Van Zandt is a big name, and she's leaving the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Eight wins in her career, five losses. Paige Van Zandt has won two out of her last six, but she's fought top-ranked competition, including ex-UFC champion Rose Namajunas, and that was her first big loss in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, a loss to Michelle Waterson, and then being submitted by Amanda Bus in the first round, Paige Van Zandt is looking to better herself. Bellator might be the best bet for Paige Van Zandt. Bare Knuckle fight, Fighting Championships interested in her. Bellator also, we'll, we'll see where she ends up, but there's a lot of talk about this fight. Paige Van Zandt at 125 pounds, which is where she is now taking on Alima Lay McFarlane. Paige, she'll fight you standing up. She likes to take her opponents down to the ground and finish them there. And that's really a tough test when, when you're going up against Alima Lay McFarlane, who, who's incredible on the ground. She has an amazing guard, 10th planet jiu-jitsu. She creates her own finishing moves, or she's been able to create variations of finishing moves, and she's been the first person, to, woman to do it. She, she created Dark Heart. That, that's how creative and crafty she is. Alima Lay McFarlane is great because she'll fight her opponent any way they want. She'll wear them out. And, and she'll go in, into the later rounds. Both women can fight deep. They can both go into the fifth round. Paige is looking to, to turn her career around. And Paige is, is a great straw weight. She, she's now fighting at flyweight. Paige has taken a lot from the fans and, and, and her losses, and Paige wants to get back up there. She has nothing to lose, and that might be a risk for Alima Lay McFarlane. F fighting a fighter that has nothing to lose. Paige Van Zandt, if she gets the opportunity to go in there, and, and we know her style, we know Paige will throw a, a ton of shots. Alima Lay McFarlane likes to take her opponent down, down to the ground if she can, but, but she'll fight them standing up, and. Taking her down might be a mistake. So this might be a bad matchup for Paige Van Zandt. Alima Lay McFarlane would be a huge favorite in this fight, obviously, but Paige would have nothing to lose. And, and that might be, be scary within herself. She, she's fought champions. We saw what Paige could do in the Rose Nami Yunus fight. Paige will let it all out there. And in a fight with Alima Lay McFarlane, that's what Paige would bring into the cage. Paige Van Zandt versus Alima Lay McFarlane in Bellator. I would love to see it. I, I think it'd be interesting. Let's see it.